thank you. My name is uh, Wei Jima. I'm a tenured professor at uh, New York University uh, in neuroscience and psychology. I represent the Scientist Action and Advocacy Network. Uh, we are a group uh, trying to link the latest research findings to issues of social justice such as race and age. Uh, we have already heard the research being referred to, uh, and I'd just like to elaborate a little bit on some of these points, and they go beyond the issue of culpability. So developmental neuroscience research shows that brain areas such as the prefrontal cortex that are involved in deliberative decision making, so thinking about what you're doing, and the regulation of emotions and impulses are among the last to develop, uh, con continuing to mature into young adulthood. So during adolescence, the brain is uh, under construction and is particularly uh, sensitive to uh, life experience, whether good or bad. So psychological and social skills that develop during this period tend to persist into adulthood. And this heightened sensitivity and malleability of the brain presents a window of opportunity for behavioral change. So uh, the, the point, the, um, an important point is that the adolescent brain should be particularly amenable to he rehabilitation. So this goes beyond the issue of culpability. This is about rehabilitation. In adolescence, demonstrating a risk for criminal or antisocial behavior, interventions that provide opportunities for pro-social interactions, both in the community and with positive role models, can bolster healthy development. Conversely, Incarceration places teens in an environment where they lack the social opportunities to practice pro-social behavior and to learn to regulate their emotions and impulses. Moreover, exposure to the traumatic experiences endemic to jails and prisons might be particularly de detrimental to teens' long-term outcomes. Uh, neuroscientific evidence suggests that trauma experienced in adolescence has a lasting impact on behavior and brain development. So instead of hindering growth, uh, juvenile justice policy should aim to reduce recidivism, promote rehabilitation, and implement interventions during this formative stage of development. And finally, I'd like to say that our group is prepared to uh, provide uh, scientific backing to uh, any interested parties on an ongoing basis uh, when it comes to developmental neuroscience and psychology. Thank you.